Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take a look to see what the entropy, entropy change will be when we take a number of molecules in a box and reduce the number of molecules into a smaller section of that box. Essentially from a larger volume to a smaller volume. So we have that illustrated right here. We have a number of molecules in a box and then we have all the molecules move into a smaller section of the box. It's one way to do it. And you can see here that in our example that V2, the volume here is half the volume that the molecules were in before. So that requires an entropy change. And therefore, going from here to here, we have a drop in entropy, so the entropy change will be negative. Now notice that there's a factor of the natural log of the ratio of the volumes, and if the V2 is smaller than V1 is indicated here, of course, the natural log of a number smaller than one will indeed be a negative number. So that means that the sign for the entropy change is indeed correct. But let's start from the beginning. So let's first start with the concept of the probability of finding n molecules in a smaller volume, n being the number of molecules. So here the probability will be equal to the ratio of the volumes raised to the n power. So of course if there's just a few number of molecules, two or three, the probability is not so bad. It's not that small of a number. But as n grows, of course if v2 is half the size of v1, so for example if the six molecules, one half to the sixth power, the probability will be one in 64. So you can see as n gets big, the probability continues to shrink, gets smaller and smaller for that event to happen. So, if we now take the natural log of both sides, now we have the natural log of the probability equals the natural log of the ratio of the volumes to the n power, and of course then we can take the n and place it in front. Now at the same time, we're also going to take a look at the general concept of the change in entropy with the heat exchange divided by the temperature which this happens. So let's assume that we have an isothermic process, so there's no increase or decrease in the temperature during the event of moving the molecules into a smaller section of the box, we can then use the equation from the first law of thermodynamics of nRT times the natural log of the ratio of the volumes. And of course we have to divide that by the temperature. The temperature cancels out, so we end up with n times r times the natural log of V2 or V1. n is the number of moles and r is the gas constant. Now, if we realize that the Boltzmann constant equals the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number, of course, remember that n sub a, Avogadro's number, is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23, just so we remember that, and the number of moles is simply the ratio of the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. So if we make a few substitutions, again, let's copy what we have over here. The change in entropy is equal to the number of moles times the gas constant times the natural log of the ratio of the volumes. So we can replace the number of moles by the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number, and we can take the gas constant and exchange it for Boltzmann's constant times Avogadro's number. Now you can see that Avogadro's number cancels out, so we're simply left with the change in entropy is equal to the Boltzmann's constant times the number of molecules times the natural log of V2 over V1, the ratio of the volumes of the final volume over the initial volume. Again, assuming that to be smaller than 1, V2 being smaller than V1. Now if you go back to the definition of the probability of this state happening, then we can see that if we take the natural log of the probability and exchange it for this in the equation, we can then write the change in entropy is simply equal to K, Boltzmann's constant, times the natural log of P. The natural log of the probability of going from a larger volume to a smaller volume with n molecules. And of course, you can also write it like this. So instead of writing it like the natural log of the probability, we could simply write it as n, the number of molecules, times the natural log of the ratio of the volumes, which means we can write it like this. So either one describes the entropy change of moving a certain number of molecules and molecules from a larger volume to a smaller volume. If you do that, remember that that will be a number less than 1, the natural log of a number less than 1 is negative, and so we end up with an entropy drop, which is what we'd expect. So that is how that's done.